Hola, mi llamo El. And welcome to another episode of La Historia. And today we're gonna talk about the Ilustrados campaign for reform or the propaganda movement. Join us in our journey in the 19th century. Now, what is the propaganda movement? The propaganda movement started as a literary and cultural organization organized by the Ilustrados to lead a peaceful campaign for reform of Spanish rule. They used their connections with the liberal Spanish politicians and masons. Gasiano Lopez Heina, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, and Jose Pirizal are the leaders of the movement. What are the Ilustrados? The Ilustrados were the Filipinos' educated class during the Spanish colonial era. The term Ilustrados means erudite, learned or enlightened ones. They were the middle class who were educated in Spanish and exposed to Spanish liberal and their European nationalist ideals. The Stratus class was composed of native-born intellectuals who had the privilege to study abroad because they were the children of wealthy landowners. They are considered as the key figures in the development of Philippine nationalism. What are the propagandists? The Filipino patriots who used pen and paper in advocating for reforms and exposing the defects of the Spanish colonial government are called propagandists. They were educated, intelligent, patriotic, and courageous. Masonry and the Propaganda Movement Filipino patrons became members of Masonry because they need the help of Masons in Spain and other foreign countries to urge their fight for reforms. Revolution First Filipino Masonic Lodge established by Jaina in Barcelona. It was recognized by Grande Oriental Español, headed by Don Miguel Moraita on April 1889, ended November 20, 1890, when Jaina resigned as a master. Lord Soy Daddy Dad, organized by Marcelo del Pilar and Julio Lorente in Madrid, recognized on May 1890, and it prospered. Therefore, joined by other Filipinos such as Rizal, Pedro Serrano, and Galicano Apasible. Lodge Nilad, the first Masonic lodge established by Serrano Lactao in Manila on January 6, 1892. The Filipino Masonic lodges' aim was to raise funds to support the campaign for reforms in Spain. Welcome to 1872. On January 20, 1872, the Cavite Mutiny took place at the Cavite Arsenal where 200 Filipino troops and workers held an uprising against the Spanish authorities. And on February 17, 1872, the Combursa was executed by Garote because they were charged with sedition and treason. In the year 1887, Nolimitang Herebeo Serizal was published for the benefit of the Filipino people. And in 1888, La Solidaridad, the Solidarity, was established in Spain. The organization was composed of the Ilustrados. Moving on, 1889, Gasiano Lopez Jaina founded the newspaper La Solidaridad in Barcelona, Spain, and it became the voice of the propaganda movement. And in 1891, a darker and much evolved El Filibusterismo was released as a sequel to Nolan Mitanger. In 1892, Rizal went home to the Philippines and established the La Liga Filipina. On July 6th, Rizal was ordered to be arrested by the Governor General Ilogio Despojol and was exiled to Dapitan. On July 7, Katipunan was formed by Madres Bonifacio after knowing that Rizal was arrested and his works were banned. In 1895, the final issue of La Solidaridad by Marcelo H. Del Pilar wrote his farewell editorial saying, We are persuaded that no sacrifices are too little to win the rights and the liberty of a nation that is oppressed by slavery. In 1896, on August 26, Bonifacio called the Ginto de Balintawak, calling for an armed uprising against the Spanish colonial government and fought for independence. The armed revolution started and Rizal was transferred to Fort Santiago because he was charged as an accomplice to the revolution. On December 26, a brief trial was held for the fabricated charges against Rizal. He did not have any connections with Bonifacio's Karipunan but was still found guilty and was sentenced to death. On December 30, Rizal was executed by a firing squad in Fort Santiago. And on 1898, Philippines gained independence from Spain on June 12, 1898. What are the aims of propagandists? Number 1. Recognition of the Philippines as a province of Spain. Two, Secularization of Filipino parishes and expulsions of friars. Three, equal status for both Filipinos and Spaniards. Four, Philippine representation in the Spanish Cortes. 
5. Freedom of speech and association, creation of public school systems independent of the priorist. And lastly, the number 6. And to the annual obligation of polo or labor service and vandala or forced sale of local products to the government. What caused Ilishaga's campaign for reform or the propaganda movement? The liberal regime of Governor Carlos Maria de la Torre caused Filipinos to address public issues and strive for reforms. Carlos Maria de la Torre was the Spanish Governor General and is a true Democrat. His achievements encouraged Filipinos to seek for changes in the Spanish rule. Second is the Cavite Mutiny, happened on January 20, 1872. It's an uprising of over 200 Filipino troops against the Spanish authorities. Lastly is the execution of the Gomorza. The three priests named Mariana Gomez, Jose Burgos, Jacinta Zamora fought for equal rights among priests and many issues causing a conflict among religious and church seculars. How did the Ilustrados carry out their campaign for reform or the propaganda movement? The Ilustrados used pen and paper to carry out their movement. La Solidaridad is a Spanish newspaper that is published every two weeks. The first issue was published in Barcelona, Spain. The contributors of La Solidaridad are the following. Marcelo H. Del Pilar, Dr. Jose Rizal, Mariano Ponce, Antonio Luna, Jose Maria Panganiban, Dr. Pedro Paterno, Antonio Maria Regidor, Isabelo de los Reyes, Eduardo de Lete, and Jose Alejandrino. What are the limitations of La Solidaridad? La Solidaridad was written in Spanish, and many Filipinos do not understand Spanish. Second, censorship and the limit of its publication, the possessions of the newspapers is controversial and risky. Lastly, the third, lack of funds to continue publication and support the campaign. La Liga Filipina in June 1892. Rizal once again set foot in the Philippines where he embarked on the formation of a secret organization. The La Liga Filipina or the Philippine League, it was inaugurated on July 3, 1892 at Elias Street, Tondo, Manila. The La Liga Filipina was loyal to Spain and didn't scream for independence but just wanted reforms of the Spain rules. What is Rizal purpose? Number one, to unite the whole archipelago into one compact vigorous and homogeneous body. Second, mutual protection in the case of trouble and in need. Third, defense. Defense against every violence and injustice. Fourth, develop of education, agriculture, and commerce. And lastly, the fifth, study implementations of reforms. How did the propaganda movement end? The propaganda movement languished after results arrest and the collapse of the La Liga Filipina. La Solidaridad went out of business in November 1895, and in 1896, both Del Pilar and Lopez Highland died in Barcelona, were down by poverty and disappointment. An attempt was made to re-establish the La Liga Filipina, but the national movement had become split between Ilustrado advocates of reform and peaceful evolution that consists of the compromisarios or compromisers, and the plebeian constitution that wanted revolution and national independence. Because the Spanish refused to allow genuine reform, the initiative quickly passed the former group to the latte. Was the propaganda movement successful? The propaganda movement did not succeed in its pursuit of reform. The Spanish colonial government did not agree to any of its demand. The friars, on the other hand, were at the height of their power and displayed even more arrogance in fronting their influence. There was also no strong leader emerged from the group aside from Jose Rizal. However, the propaganda movement inspired nationalism and patriotism among other Filipinos that led to the armed revolution of Bonifacio and fought for Philippine independence. And that's all for today's episode of Fly Story. We hope you learned a lot. Alalahanin at aralin natin ang kasaysayan ng Pilipinas dahil tayo ang pag-asa ng bayan. Again, my name is Isa. Milyamo Eli. See you again. Adios! Adios!